we get so caught up in the everyday struggle and the everyday hustle and the grind and everything that we're doing, everything we have going on, everything the world throws at us to distract us from being connected to God, everything that keeps us from being involved in his word and diving in and taking time, everything around us is a distraction. And I get that. You woke up this morning because God put breath in your lungs, because he spoke life into you however many years ago that you were conceived and said, you are special. You are my child and I love you. And all he says is, hey, believe in me, love me, serve me, do what I say to do. And some days that's hard. Some days we feel like we don't have time. I left my house at six yesterday morning. I got home at 7.30 last night. I get it. The struggle's real. You know, when you're, when you're busy like that, when you're constantly running, when you're a single parent, when you have kids, when you have a job, when you have life, when you have school, when you have anything and everything going on, how do you find time? And the answer is, how do you not? We exist, we live, we have eternal life because somebody was willing to lay down their life for us, but we can't pick up a book for five minutes and read. We can't pick up a book and a commercial break from our shows. Two minutes, two minutes just to look at some scripture. And we say, oh, we're too busy, God. You gave your life for me. You gave me life. I have what I have because of you, but you're not worth my time. And I'm not saying that to be judgmental. I'm not saying that to be hateful or holier than thou. I'm not saying I'm better than anybody because I struggle with it too. And it's because I struggle with it, and I know other people do too, that I'm going to start a new video series for you guys. I'm going to call this series Feeding the Army. And every Wednesday I'm going to put out a short Bible verse. I'm not going to be a long video. They're all going to be under a minute, hopefully. And the idea behind it is that it's going to give you guys something to hear and something to see. And my hope and prayer with that is that if that's maybe the one or the two times a week you get some scripture, you're getting something. Because I get it, man. We are out there hustling and grinding every single day trying to make this, trying to get what we can get and do what we can do. But what we really need to be doing is glorifying God in all that we say and do instead of looking at what the world tells us to look at. So maybe you guys need to refocus a little bit. I know I do too. Figure out what it is that's taking my time. Figure out what it is that's dragging me away from God. I know it's time for me to rearrange and reevaluate my life and get rid of some of the junk that distracts me and pulls me away and start focusing more and more in on a father that is so loving, unconditionally, and that is perfect in every way, shape, or form hope the series is good for you guys. I hope it uh, means something to you. I hope it gives you guys more insight, more scripture, more food, and I hope it grows the army. I love you guys, and I will catch y'all next time.